All right, I just want to cover some AI personalization that we're doing for particular e-commerce offers, um, like e-com agency offers to e-com brands, right? And this could be done in different industries as well, but this particularly works very well for e-commerce brands and offers to them, right? So I'm just going to cover this real quick. This is all done through AI. It's all do, done through um, clay.com. So I definitely recommend getting clay.com. Um, it's been one of the highest leverage tech that we've been using for just building really personalized campaigns, finding specific intent data, um, finding some yeah, really unique data points. It has a lot of different API. You can use a lot of different scrapers through Clay. It's crazy. Um, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's a bit pricier, but it's definitely worth it. But anyways, so let's just dive into it. So for this list, I have a Shopify, it's basically a Shopify brand list. It's, it's brands that are using both Shopify and Clavio. And this is for an email marketing offer. So we're pitching this e-com or email marketing offer to these brands that are using both Shopify and Clavio. And as I show you this, I'm going to mention how this can be relevant to different offers like ad creative, CRO, influencer marketing, all these different types of, you know, e-com agency offers that most people are running, right? And this, this could be, this could basically be done for all of them. Um, but this is just, this is just one example for email marketing. And I know a lot of people are doing email marketing, so this will be relevant, but yeah. So the entire funnel, all this is based around the offer itself, right? So when it comes to personalization, you want to have the personalization relevant to the conversation itself, not just saying something like, Hey, I saw you went to Harvard for university or I saw you're from Los Angeles, California, you want it to actually tie into the subject matter of the, of the conversation, right? So in this case, we're able to do that with the offer. And this is like, I, this is one of my favorite sort of um, campaigns that we're running right now. It's working super well. Um, I'm not gonna give the exact script because I don't want you guys to copy that, but I will show you guys sort of the methodology we're, we're going with and the mindset behind it. But yeah, so essentially what we're doing is we're offering for our email marketing client, we're offering a free email campaign, right? Like a free email design, email creative, whatever you want to call it. We're offering one of those. So uh, a cool way to add some personalization to this, what we're thinking was like, okay, well, what if we mentioned an exact email campaign idea and then offer that to the prospect saying like, hey, we'll create this exact idea we just mentioned to you for free, right? And we're having AI type that out for us completely in the email, all automated, right? Um, so that's basically what we did here. So the, the script structure is like, you know, Hey name, intro, whatever, AI idea, campaign idea, email campaign idea, and then offering that free email campaign idea for free. Right. So it's super, no, the, the offer is no brainer. The AI personalization is really good. It's actually tied to the overall offer. So it's a really, it's a really high effort, um, sort of email. Not, not like it's not high effort, but it's like you could tell if, if an e-commerce brand was to receive that, they could, they could tell that the person that, who sent that email put some effort into that email. They're like, okay, this person actually came with an idea of what they're presenting. And then they're also offering for free. It's just really high leverage, right? It's really good personalization. Um, it's super relevant to them, right? And you'll see here the outputs that the, like, I think the main objection most people have with this is like, okay, are the actual GPT outputs going to be good? And you'll be surprised. They actually are quite good. Um, this was done with GPT, uh, three or point GPT 3.5, excuse me. And they recently just released GPT 4.0 or whatever it's called. And that's, that's going to be in clay. So it's, it's going to be even better now that the personalization is going to get to a point where, uh, it's basically indistinguishable from a human. Right. Um, but really the outputs you get from AI personalization personalization is all going to come from the effort you put into the actual prompt itself, right? Um, the clarity and the exactness and the sort of, um, detail you go into with the prompt is going to be how accurate your output's going to be. Right. But anyway, just dive into it. So what we're doing first, we're getting the website URL. We're having the Clayton, which is like the AI web scraper. Yeah. So essentially we're having the AI web scraper, uh, the Clayton. we're having to visit the website, which is these, and then basically give us a brief summary, um, analyzing the website, 
and just yeah, give us the findings so we can use it for the GPT prompt. Because GPT, you can't access the website, um, but the collision can. And then we create some, another column, that's the text column. Gives us the output here. You can just push the, the output by hitting this, go to add as column. And yeah, we're having the GPT read these. So these are all just brief summaries of the website user URLs, right? So we got that. Now here, this is what's gonna be used in the first email. And this is the email campaign idea that we're gonna be men mentioning initially. So what we're doing here, excuse me, is, so we're basically telling the GPT, like, you know, you're a brilliant copywriter, blah, 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 all this stuff. And we're saying, you know, one of the clients, they, they specialize in email marketing. You can switch this to like ad creative, CRO, whatever. And basically just giving a brief description of like what email, what, e what they do, why they do it, um, what's like the end result of it. And then we're basically telling the AI to, you know, give a creative, uh, relevant and specific sentence on, you know, how the company can utilize email campaigns and flows. Right. And then we're, we're adding all these different, um, all these different like sort of guidelines to make sure it doesn't like go off course. Cause if you don't, if you don't make it specific on exactly how you want the output to come out, like making sure how many words you want to be, make sure to get rid of like the LLC ink, all that stuff. Um, then it's going to do its own thing. And the goal with prompting AI, you want to make sure you add guardrails to keep it on course to the exact output you want. Right. So yeah. And then it's just, of course, it's analyzing that. And these are like some of the outputs we're getting, right? So blah, 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 personalized product tips to keep the customers coming back for more. That one's kind of basic. Uh, let's see what else we got. Teach on like a boost prevention, personalized skincare tips. And so, I mean, so it's like, you see there, it's like, it's nothing crazy, but it's, it's a solid recommendation, right? It's a cool, it's a cool email idea. What else we got? Personalized beauty bundles to, to drive repeat purchases and boost. So yeah, you, you can see it's like, they're pretty solid outputs. Um, it's nothing like super detailed because you obviously, you don't want it too long, right? You don't want to give a super long in-depth explanation exactly what they could be doing with email marketing, right? You want to just keep it to the point. So these are really solid outputs. And then, so we're using this for the first email, right? This is like the first initial pitch. And then after that, we're offering the free email camp campaign. And again, this could be done for ad creative. You can switch this to, yeah, mentioning ad creative, mentioning CRO, whatever. But this is just an example for email marketing. And then what we're doing for the follow-up email, we're leading, we're following up. So we're only doing um, intro email and then one follow-up. But with the follow-up, we're, we're, we're leading back with more email campaign ideas, right? And the prompt is pretty similar. Um, you know, we're just telling it to, this time we're basically just telling it to bullet point a few more ideas, right? And so you're like, here's some examples. Yeah, and like use of offers, blah, 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 drive engagement with your post tips. So yeah, you can see here, it's just a nice way of following up and it's a cool way to add personalization to the follow-up. And then it's also a fault that makes sense, right? Because it's like, you'd be like, oh, my team actually had more ideas um, on what we could do for the email campaigns. If, in, in case you didn't like the first one or, you know, just for some more context, et cetera. Um, so yeah, that's a really solid campaign structure you can run for any e-com email, um, any e-com offer really add creative, anything that has to do with marketing, you can basically use this. So yeah, we found this useful. Definitely check out Clay, it's huge. And yeah, cheers.